So, as you can see, I have already started tearing this down. Um, I went ahead and drained the oil, so let me show you that real quick. Okay, well, it's not the best. It is a little dark. So, but we can at least see if the motor is fucked or if it's, you know. So it looks like oil. It's like all oil doesn't look clean the dipstick was definitely deceiving but if there was any water to come out it would have came out already so the water is not mixing with the oil and so my suspicions on that were correct okay so it looks like just normal oil which is good so there's no like metal uh, coloration to it or anything like that so I'm happy with that it looks like the motor is healthy as far as well yeah it's healthy as far as internally um, so the next thing to check is to drain the radiator fluid which is just water still um, but it's, it's getting hot now so okay so I drained the radiator everything it's all it was like I said it was just water in there so I'm not worried about it going all over the place um, got that drained and there, like, I, like I expected, there was nothing there. So, my question is, and I'm, a, I'm probably still gonna pull the motor out because I wanna look at, I wanna clean out this all this stuff and see if I can clean up, make things a little bit more, uh, you know, all these wires and shit like that, see if I can clean that up. But my question though is, is, could it be possible that with the crack in the block and just be on that side as the water's passing by it, could it be, pulling air in and causing air to be in the system I mean I don't know so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing what I can to get this thing out of here because uh, yeah it needs to come on out so as you can see it came out nice and I mean it was it was like a, a clearish brown color but it, it was you know it was fine there was no metal in it uh, face of the pan there's no metal in it there's some that a lot of the stuff was like all that was already in there it was a dirty pan but what i was looking for was metal and i didn't see no metal um so i guess what i need to do now is i need to go ahead and get the hood off so that way i can go ahead and pull this motor out well i got there's a lot i got to do to get this thing out of here so i'm um, gonna go ahead and just start knocking it out i guess or the only one only one way to go about it okay so I've got the headers disconnected at the collector on either side. I'm hoping I can just lift it up and out and I feel like this side's going to be the problem, but I'm hoping it it's not because this side looks like it has plenty of space if I need to come over this way some. So I may have to, you know, bump it over this way and then come up. I've got the transmission disconnected. I have the torque converter disconnected and crazy okay uh, I've got all the fuel lines everything disconnected I got a couple grounds I need to disconnect as well um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and then I'm gonna hook up my lifting apparatus and pull this bad girl out okay so there is the culprit it looks like it's in line with this here bolt here but that bolts not that long so hmm I'm wondering if it goes all the way around or if it's just right there so what I'm gonna do and it's just gonna be a temporary fix if it even fixes it but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this area free of any paint get it down to bare metal and then I'm gonna use JB weld and just fill in all of this right here uh, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit because it's just still getting a little bit of water out I just want to make sure it's fully dry, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, though, before I uh, do the JB Weld. Um, this only seems to be the only issue that i found, other than some, some oil leaks that seem to be coming from this brand new um, oil gasket, oil pan gasket that I put in. So, and then I also have this oil leak coming from right here at this corner of this valve cover. 
that's been leaking down onto here so i'm glad i saw that because that's that's just asking to be a problem right there uh, other than that yeah i mean you got some carbon build up but yeah i mean i ran those 46s for so long it's just to be understood i uh, covered up all of my get away from me bug uh covered up the intake manifold uh, yeah i mean that's the only thing i'm really concerned with um doesn't appear to be any damage on this side which is good hoping it stays that way um but yeah i also noticed i, I knew I could, hear, I could hear some exhaust leaks and you can see it's been leaking right here even though i have the gasket and it's tight and it's been leaking over here and everything like that um these gaskets are shit okay i made mention of i made mention of that um when i was installing them i knew they were crap and i'll probably buy some different ones now that um i'm pulling this back out but while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up this best we can see if we can't make it look a little better and uh probably respray it maybe we'll see we're not trying to not, not, we're not trying to make mona lisa here we're just trying to make it look better so we don't have to do it later but yep so got the motor out and yeah that's all the damage i see to, I, I see apparently um i would like to go ahead and because this oil leak right here i don't this I, I wasn't able to replace this this gasket so now that i have a better impact i'm gonna pop this off and go ahead and replace that gasket pop the water pump off again uh and, yep just go ahead and make sure everything's done right so but yeah i just gotta get some jb weld and then we'll uh we'll take care of that okay so there is the crack as you can see it's that right there going across right there it's not a big crack but it doesn't take much so um it appears that where it is located at is just in the water jacket it's not it's not in the oil you know it's not getting crankcase it's just getting the pressure from the water so what we're gonna do right here uh, and we're gonna see if it works be weld yep it's the original formula so i've gone ahead and i've cleaned it up down to the metal as you can see and so i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna apply it uh you know going over past everything like that and then yeah just gonna go ahead and hope for the best okay so i'm gonna apply a little bit by hand so that i can actually like kind of push it up in there somewhat i don't think i can actually get it up in there but you know i just want to make sure that if i if there is any spots that i can push it up in there then i am it's probably not but you know i gotta give it a chance And then the rest of it will be done with the spatula. I gotta get the rest of this off my finger though. I don't want to be hardening on there. It's already gonna do it, but. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna use my finger because it's already on there. And I can really, I can control my finger better and I can control this this thingy this spatula it's not gonna be pretty well it might be pretty I'm, I'm gonna try and clean it up some I want it to All right. it's not that much pressure that's on the uh, the water system it's only about 15 psi at most so i'm not terribly concerned but he like said it ain't pretty uh, by any means but we're gonna let that sit for 24 hours so it'll be tomorrow before we can actually come back and and uh we'll know then if there's anything else we'll do we'll we'll put the hose up to it flush it out we'll do a few other things because before this thing goes back up in there we're gonna we're gonna do a few more just you know trying to clean up like like i talked about we're gonna clean up in there and whatnot so uh yep gonna see you next time and look at lucy's done she's done dug all the, she's going for these roots <laughs> freaking 
crazy dog. She, now she's gonna go try and, and take it and hide it. She's, she's a funny little dog. All right, so it's the next day and I can tell you it's hard. Um, it's very hard. And it seems to have fused pretty well with the, uh, yeah, with the metal there. So if, as long as it's only, you know, an issue with it out, outside of the block, sorry, decided to get a hiccup right there. As long as it's outside of the block and only outside the block, then I should be good. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, obviously if it's on the inside of the block, there's nothing you can do about that other than replace the entire block. Um, so, so there's not really much I can do at this point until I put the motor back in there and crank it up. So I'm going to leave it where it is and hope and pray that that's going to do it. And we'll, we'll follow up on it once it's back in the vehicle and uh, yeah, we'll see how it's doing there. But in the meantime, I'm now going to go ahead and clean up this motor because I do have that show. So I'm attempt to go ahead and just kind of just clean up the stuff that I meant to clean up the last time I, I was working on this thing. Um, and go ahead and do that now. Because I was supposed to do it already. <laughs> <laughs> 